judge called Jason Cooper a predator. The victim called him a monster. And now the former Plum High teacher is headed to prison. This was Jason Cooper's last walk before leaving the courthouse, heading for prison. I think relieved this afternoon. Um, he very much wants to put this behind him. His trial was supposed to start today, facing charges that while a teacher at Plum High, he had sex with a student. He was the first of three Plum teachers, including one substitute accused of similar crimes. Instead, Cooper pleaded guilty, thus sparing the victim from having to testify at trial. But she did provide a statement that was read in court, saying Cooper took advantage of her when she was depressed and dealing with serious family issues. She said, quote, he twisted my views. He he humiliated me and you deserve to rot in jail for what you've done. Cooper told the judge, quote, I am sorry for what I put everybody in my life through. I want to move past it. But Judge David Cashman was not satisfied with the plea deal telling Cooper, quote, you are a predator. You knew she was defenseless. You decided to swoop down and pick up your prey. Even so, he accepted Cooper's plea and sentenced him to between 18 and 36 months in jail. Afterward, we talked to Cooper's lawyer. He said while Cooper admits to the sex, the victim was 18 and able to make her own decisions. Had uh, this young lady worked at a gas station or a get-go um, and, and a similar relationship took place, we would not be here having this conversation. Again, 18 months to three years in prison. When Cooper gets out, he'll be on probation for five years, plus he'll have to register as a sex offender. Reporting live at the Allegheny County Courthouse, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Bob, thank you. And certainly this story has parents in the Plum School District talking tonight. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Ashley Hardway continuing our live team coverage with what the superintendent has to say about all this today. Well, good evening to you, Andrew. Of course, there are different opinions on this case, depending on who you talk to within the Plum School District. Now, of course, Jason Cooper has not been teaching here at the high school for several months now. In the interim, we've heard opinions on opposite ends of the spectrum from parents at board meetings, on social media, and out in public. At least one person we spoke with today said these cases don't affect her opinion of the district overall. Of the school district, I think it's... A wonderful school district. Um, what happened at the high school doesn't change my opinion on, you know, it doesn't worry me about sending my kids there. Um, I think they get a really good education there. It's a nice, nice place for them to go to school. Now, Superintendent Dr. Tim Glasspool said today, quote, our school community continues to be pained by what has taken place between several teachers and students. However, we have taken meaningful corrective actions and measures to implement greater transparency and scrutiny when it comes to teacher student relations with particular emphasis on social media and staff awareness of warning signs and reporting requirements. We take these matters very seriously and have spent many hours examining training and publicly deliberating on how to ensure this never happens again in our schools. For now, reporting live in Plum, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.